Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Voice of Cards. Last time we left off, we got kicked out by the Queen, and uh, yeah, that was fun. We also took out more of the desires and everything, but I think Lack saved us? Lack lies there limply, like a stuffed animal without its filling. The self-proclaimed spirit risked its life to save you. If you had been swallowed by the wave, your consciousness may never have returned. What do you say to Lack? Thank you. You give Lack your heartfelt thanks for saving you. Lack trembles as it tries to speak. Laddie gazes upon the injured Lack with concern. It's coming, Lack proclaims in a faint voice. And then, everything falls quiet. An odd energy fills the spire. You place Lack upon the altar and head outside to find the source. Leave the spirit spire to look for signs of anything strange. All right, we shall. Spire first floor. And the exit. Go out. Yeah. All right. What do we got? What do we got? The sea falls eerily still. Almost as if afraid of something. You realize that the strange energy you felt earlier is not only in the spire, but blankets the entire aisle. Feeling a tap on your shoulder, you turn to see Laddie as pale as a sheet. She points, and when you turn to see what she's staring at, you find your field of vision filled by a monster so big that it pierces the clouds. It's raging toward you, tearing through the sea as it does. Okay, that's what Lack meant by it's coming. Okay, what's 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 this like weird dollar store kraken that we're dealing with? You can't believe your eyes. But you know you can't stand still. We have to evacuate everyone, you say. Then make for the village. Okay. Yeah, we got to save everybody. Uh, inform a mega village of the appearance of the giant monster. The jump ability has been disabled. Okay, makes sense. All right, let's get in Omega Village. Yee. Hey, everyone, you're gonna die. So the beast to end it all has finally reared its head, the old man remarks, calm despite the impending danger. Aside from the odd crying child, nothing seems amiss in the village. Nobody seems the slightest bit bothered by the monster. Omega Village, which has been without a maiden for years, seems overly accepting of its fate. Yeah, I mean, they kind of all thought they were gonna die anyway, so this is just like, okay, well, this is just a different thing that's going to kill us. You decide to speak with the mayor to learn how you might evacuate the people. You only hope he can be swayed. I don't know, these people are all jerks, though. As we've been over. All right, Greeth. I guess we can deal with you. So, is there anything else I needed to do here? Don't really think so. I think I'm good on everything. It's been ages since you've seen the mayor, and yet he averts his eyes the moment you enter. Just like the other villagers, he seems to have accepted his fate. But why? You have so much to ask him. What do you say? Uh... Can't we evacuate the villagers? You ask him if there is a way to evacuate the village. But he tells you there is no way off the island. Hmm. What about hiding? What is that monster? You ask the mayor about the giant monster. He says it is called the Isle Eater. According to the Maiden's Myth, the Calamitous Beast has appeared since times of old to devour islands. 
Okay, so I thought the islands just sunk, but apparently that's what does it? You ask him why everyone is stubbornly just waiting for everything to come to an end. Because that is this village's fate, Greeth answers simply. You have learned nothing for all your effort. Perhaps feeling the same, Laddie rushes to the village entrance. You ignore Greeth, who tries to stop you both, and chase after Laddie. It seems unlikely that the villagers will flee the island, which leaves you with no choice but to slay the monster yourselves. I mean, if that thing's as big as they're making it out to be, I don't know how that's going to happen. Head out to the sea and confront the monster. Oh god, this doesn't feel like it's going to go very well. Let's go out for a night on the town, I suppose. Alright. Uh, oh. Yeah, jump is still the restricted. The entire island is in grave danger. You refuse to flee on your own. I wasn't trying to flee. I was trying to get here. You and Laddie board the Bon Vent and point the prow toward the Isle Eater. The calamitous beast towers before you. Its sheer size makes you realize that there was truth to the myth. To save the village, you have no choice but to fight it here and now. You know it's reckless, but still grip your sword tightly. How are we even going to hurt something that big? We need to like get inside of its body and stab its heart. We've come to help who? Ah, cool. A light flashes in the sky and two figures appear. The Crimson Maiden Lavia and her attendant Gladio from Hero's Dominion. Yeah, you two, thanks for coming. They claim to have seen the monster during a trade expedition and rushed over. You were joined unexpectedly by the Crimson Maiden and her attendant. With them, you may be able to save the island from disaster. You make for the monster's head and raise your sword up to the sky. All right, let's go. This seems like it might be a hard battle. So, yeah, I was about to say, we're gonna be dealing with the tentacles and stuff, right? Okay, are you gonna be like the um, a mistress one? Was that what it was called from the the previous game? I need to take out those things first. All right, now to rid the world. And specifically, I gotta make sure I pick the right one because the thing that happened last time was I basically chose the wrong tentacle. I didn't choose to kill the healing tentacle, and then the healing tentacle just revived the other ones. So, let's charge spell it. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do a starlight veil here to start things off to give us all extra defense. Oh god, I'm still hurt. That's, that's what I didn't do. <laughs> I didn't rest at the end. Oh boy. Bide. Um, yeah, Lavia, I'm gonna need you to drop a Supreme Sav on, uh, yeah, Baron there. There we go. Who needs the end? Okay, so you just buffed your own attack to match whatever I just did. Provoke all enemies' action and tension. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that, please, Gladio. Yeah, come over here. Auto damage to all enemies. Okay, so that's, that's an... Yikes. Oh no, and Baron's cursed. Oh shit. That's not good. Well, we had to get rid of that. Um, Stabby. And Lavia. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Good resist. You're cursed as well, Gladio. This is not good. Um, let's drop... Well, I can't drop a quality salve on everyone. Uh, yikes! Spooky. This fight is spooky. Ow! Yeah, I need to get rid of that curse, I believe. Uh, it's like defense down if roll is for a greater. Shield, just keep buffing your defense so they can't hurt you as much. Ow. Oh my god, they hurt. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That that was needed. I unfortunately can't double heal, but Laddie can drop quality Omni Sav. Alright, alright, we've recovered a bit here. So let's just flame rush. Or should I do this? Tempest or flame rush? This is attack times two damage. That's pretty high. Let's let's just focus on killing one. I shouldn't get greedy and try to do damage to, you know, all of them. Ow. Uh, attack plus 20 damage if roll is 5 or greater. Attack plus 4. Um, we need to keep everybody alive, so... I'm gonna be using a bunch of items here, I think. Ooh, good dodge, Gladio. That was fantastic. Okay, so you... did that. Until next action is taken, so I need to... Yeah, let's just provoke with you again. It seems like a good call to me. It's nice to see you two again. Paralysis. Oh, nasty. Don't like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. God, I can never get enough for the double heal. Well, we're reasonably healthy right now, so let's go ahead and do the charge spell at least. Um, I could increase all of our defense again? Yes, let's do it. This also damages all of them, so... It's a pretty good call, I like to think. Buffed defense for everyone. Boom. You're going to need to heal Gladio. God, I'm glad I have all of these items. Definitely kick the difficulty up in this game. Which is nice. Uh, okay. Provoke again. You're the best one for this. Boom. Okay, you're gonna paralyze me again, but that's fine. I can cure it if need be. Dice rolled by all allies and enemies all land on six. Um, hmm. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, you hit him with a Tempest. This should be enough to kill the one on the right. The one on the left is almost dead, too. Good stuff. Alright. Now, you might revive the other one. Possibly. Does anybody really need to be healed? Not really. But, Lavia, I don't think you're gonna do enough to really make it worth it. So, I'm just gonna generate some more gems with you. Maybe I should've used a Sood Stone instead. Uh, just provoke again. Everybody attack Gladio! Oh! 99 turns? Oh my god. That's a lot of turns. Uh... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste my gems. Let's do that. Lavia can heal. Gladio. Could you die for me? Nope. Um, Carnage, 25. Okay, just, just heal. We almost got the other one down. And then we just gotta deal with the boss. Which doesn't seem like it'll be too hard once it's just by itself. So, provoke again. Just attack Gladio, please. Okay, that's the all enemies. Oh... That's not fun. I really hate that attack. Um... Your target. Well, the one who needs it the most is definitely you. God, curse sucks. I really hate that. Um... Flame rush. There we go. You're very dead. Magnificent. I healed Gladio because Gladio's the one taking the aggro right now, so... You up. I'm gonna have to buy some more healing items after this for sure. Uh... Rampage you? No, I want you to attack. Gladio. I want to give you defense down, but this is too important. Okay, good. And you didn't get to paralyze, so you just did damage there. Extra fire damage. Okay, you unfortunately need to refresh Baron so that we can heal this round. Alright, so... Flame Rush. We can finally start damaging you. Good crit. Excellent. Good crit. 
Lavia, you're gonna drop the Om uh, Omnisav. Whew. Okay. And you... Go ahead and flick them with defense down, please. Four greater, please. Thank you. There we go. Good shit. That's all we need. Okay, you're gonna... Oh, you succeeded in paralyzing Laddie. Ow. I think I have a curative, so we can take care of that, I suppose. I'm gonna have to use Baron's turn. Because I want Laddie to get her turn. Oh boy, we can't let that happen to Laddie. That is, uh, no good. Okay, Laddie is hurting a little bit. I have an okay amount of Supreme Savs left. I can't have Laddie dying, so... That's gonna need to happen. Provoke. I'm wasting a lot of the healing on these Supreme Savs, but I'm trying to play it as safe as possible. There we go. Good shit. Decrease water damage. That's whatever. Alright, now we can actually charge. And Baron, you do your thing. Big damage. Because you have that defense down. Good shit. Uh, yeah, there's just not a lot for you to do. Livia. Just uh, heal up Gladio, I guess. Now I wish I had some of the weaker ones, so I wasn't wasting all of my uh, big ones. <clears throat> At least it seems like you're not going to revive your... Uh, your friends. That is annoying, though. That was a lot of HP you just healed. Uh, we don't need to heal, just charge. This is a good opportunity here. Um, Flame Rush. I'm going to try to keep my stock of gems up. Uh, attack plus 20 damage if roll is 5 or greater. Um, you can't really do anything, Livia. Not much. What do we have here? What could I use, item-wise? Running out of our big heals. Use a large... Soothe Stone. <clears throat> that costs two. I mean, we can see if it'll work. Yay! Okay, 25 is pretty good. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and get that, uh, defense down again. Thank you. Now please just don't murder me too hard. Alright, it's just Lavia. It's fine. It's fine, we can handle that. Three fire- plus three fire damage, yes. That is good. Um, Lavia's fine. It's fine. Uh, flame rush. There we go. Oh. Fuck dodging. That's stupid. I had the increased fire damage this round, too. How the hell can this thing dodge us anyway? It's supposed to be incredibly massive, right? I think it's a dead Lavia. That is a dead Lavia. Ooh, this isn't good. This is not good. Um, I can't heal. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna spend a few minutes recovering from this, methinks. Go ahead and use one of these. Gladio can taunt. <clears throat> or provoke. Yeah, that attack is so nasty, specifically because it puts the you can't heal status effect on you. God damn it, fuck your rolls. Ugh. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that. We need to get Lavia back up. I also need to cure you of your paralysis so that you can actually taunt this turn. Alright. Let's, uh, scroll all the way over here to Inspire Elixir. They're not going to use the Tidal Wave attack again this soon, so I'm, we're, we're good, I'm pretty sure. Use some of these, because we have about a billion of them. <clears throat> Alright, well, I've built my stupid gems back up again. <sighs> okay. Stop it! Ah, it's so annoying! Three to our attack. Cool. Um, just heal. Gladio, please. There we are. Okay, we've, we've successfully recovered. Now let's just beat the shit out of you. Thank you for the crit. 
I appreciate it. Um, you just do... <laughs> I don't want to waste my stuff. So... My gems, I mean. I suppose that would have been a time where it was worth it, but whatever. <clears throat> okay, good. At least you didn't get the stupid curse this time. Getting the curse is what's really bad. When they get that, it, it really blows. I don't need to use double heal. We have these. They only did about 20 damage anyway, so... That is fine with me. Flame rush. Boom, 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 boom. Good crit. No matter <clears throat> how fiercely you assail the beast, it doesn't stop it from advancing toward the island. Your allies are fighting their hardest, and yet it's still not enough. A gigantic cannonball sails through the air, crushing the monster's tentacles with a muffled crunch. You see that a single ship has fired the cannonball, and upon it, who? Grief is at the helm. Ooh. Instructing the Omega Islanders to fire shot after shot at the beast. Wait, you said you couldn't evacuate. You have a ship. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have a ship, you lying bastards. <laughs> you won't have our home. We'll slay the monster. This isn't over yet. We can do this together. Poor laddie, the villagers shout in unison. No. You feel your heart warm at those words. No. You had thought the villagers hated Laddie and wanted her gone. So why would they help you? Regardless of the reason, you can't deny how heartened you feel. You and Laddie look at each other and nod. You grip your sword with renewed strength, determined to cut through the threat, binding the isle to its dreaded fate. Let's go. We got ass to kick. All right, so I could do cross, but I'm like, eh. I I think we can swing a fire slash. Two. Whatever. At least you got the crit. That makes it worth it. Uh, provoke. <clears throat> so were you about to get more difficult? Is this a phase two? Well, there comes the. Oh, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. Ouch. Ooh, that's a dead baron. It's so annoying. It is incredibly annoying, that attack. Uh, Alright, at least I have enough healing items to take care of this. And provoke. This is also probably why they gave me Gladio. This would be really hard if I didn't have a taunt. Heal target and... Okay, well now you're healing. Obnoxious is all hell. Okay, we're extra defensive this round. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and use an Inspire Elixir. I'm running out of these things, so we really need to finish this fight soon. Good job, Baron. You got your turn. Should I... Yeah, let's increase our defense and deal big damage here. The increased defense will be nice. Oh boy. Okay. Big damage, increased defense. Let's drop another one of these just to be safe. Heal us up to full, for the most part. And provoke. Okay, you can't be using that shadow wave again so quickly, right? Damn you! Okay, at least you didn't get the curse. As long as you don't get the curse, it's not that bad. Okay, always land on six. Um, another one of these. God, these things are being used a lot. I'm really gonna need to refill after this. Okay. You don't really have anything that rolls, so it's fine. Boom, 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 boom. And you. So I can get... This is guaranteed on this round. I should have been utilizing this a bit more. Yeah, it's always guaranteed. Boom. Dead. Oh. <sighs> Bastard. 9,000 XP. Worth it, I suppose. Level 25 now. Baron didn't get a level, but that's fine. Hey, you little shit. Together, you manage to slay the calamitous beast and watch as it sinks back into the sea. 
Once you've celebrated your victory, you and your allies turn your ships in their respective directions and sail off. Well, that was kind of cool, seeing everybody kind of come together like that. V and Gladio left the party. But now we've revisited our, our friends. We've revisited with uh, Queenie and... Uh, Krim, we've revisited with Livia and Gladio. Are we going to see, like... We've already saw Fila and Hyde in the dream world, but we didn't fight with them. But are we going to see Lanka and Krim again? No, we haven't vis revisited with Lanka and Krim. I meant to say we revisited with, um... Queenie Hyde, Livia Gladio. We have yet to revisit with Lanka, Krim, and Fila Hyde. At least in combat. Confused myself there. Okay, so that's the Isle Eater. We got their story. Let's look at the monster. Uh, all the way over here, I'm guessing? Yep. The Isle Devouring Calamity alluded to in the Maiden's Myth. It is said that all who bear witness to its grotesque form will accept the destruction of their islands and begin to pray to it. Yeah. Because of the actions of a reckless few who defied the coming end, this fiend sank beneath the waves once more. Has it been laid low or merely returned to its nest in the depths? Actions of a reckless few. Was that not what we wanted to do? Who defied the coming end, this fiend sank beneath the waves. It's been laid low or... Yeah. That's the question, isn't it? That is the question. Um, alright, so before I forget, I don't think we're gonna go, you know, talk to Greeth yet, but let's go rest. Yeah. And I'm going to buy some more items, because we really, really need to refill our stock after that. <sighs> and I have the money to do so, so why the hell not? Bye. So, give me... Mmm... I meant to switch to buy more. I don't know why it didn't move. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buy. There we go. And the quality Omni Savs, we used quite a few of as well, so... Buy more, 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 more. Seven will be fine. There we go. Cool. So we rested, we got our Omni Savs back. So I think we'll leave talking to Grief for Grief for next time. So that was a pretty cool episode. I didn't expect that to happen. Just a crazy monster to come out of the ocean and fight me. I thought we were just going to be like, okay, we need to train up a little bit, have a training arc, and then we can go fight the queen again. But I guess that was part of my training arc. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Voice of Cards, and I'll see you next time.